Hi, I'm John Horsey. I'm England's highest capped international fly angler. I'm a professional fly fishing guide and I'm also one of the Hardy Pro team. And this is Two Minute Masterclass. Still water dry fly fishing can be one of the most productive ways of catching reservoir trout. In this video, I'm going to show you some of my top tips to help you increase your catch rate. When you're dry fly fishing, there are three key elements to success. Accuracy, presentation, and speed. If you get all three of those right, then you'll catch plenty of fish. Accuracy is all about spotting the fish move, seeing which direction it's moving in, and then casting ahead of that fish. If you cast to the ring of the rise, you're normally casting to where the fish has been, so you rarely get any takes. So therefore, you have to see which direction it's moving in, and then give it a bit of lead so it can move happily onto one of your dries. Correct presentation will always get you decent takes. Presentation is about getting the three flies to land in a straight line, for your leader to sink, and for the fish to not see any knots, any bits of leader on the surface. Speed is the other essential factor. When you see a fish move, it's no good having five false casts and then dropping the fly on the fish. You want to be up, take your flies out of the water and down on that fish with one false cast maximum, sometimes not a false cast at all. Straight up, straight down ahead of the fish and if it sees it, it'll eat it. When I'm fishing dries, I always use copolymer as opposed to fluorocarbon. Copolymer is a far more buoyant leader material than fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is great for everything else, but when you're using dry flies, it can pull your dry flies under the surface. I always prefer using Sealsfer dry flies rather than CDC dry flies. The main reason for using Sealsfer dries is it helps the fly to sit in the film rather than high above the surface of the water. When you're fishing dries, it's really important to degrease your leader. I use a combination of Fuller's Earth and washing up liquid, which you mix together and keep in a little tub, and you rub this all the way down through the leader, and that helps the leader to sink. When using seals for dry flies, you do need to make the fly float. And to do that, you just need a proprietary silicon-based floatant just apply it to the fly just in a couple of dabs. Simple. 